Fifth race, Claiming Handicap Pacers are on the track and prettying to the post. Racing one mile, purse $3,500. Field of 10, there are no changes. Number one, U.S. News, owned by Jim Arledge of Circleville and Sturgill Loma to Bainbridge. Jim Arledge trains, Jack Daly drives. Number two, Barron's Courier, owned by Sarah Radio of Plain City. Lana Joe Sturgill Pollock trains for Ryan Holton. The three is set to deal, owned by Clarence DeLong of Grove City. Daryl Hoosier trains for Jim Daly. Number four, King and Doctor, owned by Barbara King Trust of Columbus. Jimmy King trains with Brett Henners. The five, Albert the first, owned by Robert Deal of Chillicothe. Jerry Kuchbach trains with Eric Lundford. From post six, Novelistical, owned by Troy Thomas of Cable and Hiltebrand trains. Don Feaster up. The seven, Sonsi Oates, owned by Newt Thomas of Columbus. Alex Spence, Jr. trains. Dave Myers aboard. The eight, Red Hot Jake, owned by Ed Green of Galena and Giles Clayton of Sunnerberg. John Schultz trains for Ron Steck. Number nine, Rothhausen, owned by Andrew Atkinson of Kettering. Mr. Atkinson trains. Mike Wilder in the bike. And the 10, Raveland, owned by Mark Ader of Washington Courthouse, Dan Ader, the trainer and driver. Wouldn't play show perfect, a twin trifecta wagering, post time in nine minutes. Nine. Fifth race, claiming handicapped pacers on and behind the gate. They're on the back stretch. There they go. And uh, they're off, and uh, from the outside, uh, there goes Albert, the first. Quickly for the lead to the inside and second, it's set to deal. Early third, Barron's Carrier, and from off the belt, fourth, U.S. News. Slipping through five, it's Raveland looking to duck in, sixth, King and Doctor. Two lengths, seventh, Novelist to Goliath, the and eighth, Sanzi Oates. Another two lengths, ninth to Red Hot Jake, the uh, trailer, tenth, Ralph Housen. Here the first stop, and on the front for the lead, it's set to deal. Opening quarter, 27 and one. Albert the first settles in behind the leader, second. Burns Carrier next in line, third. U.S. News coming first up at the outside, fourth. Racing fifth with cover, it's King and Doctor at the rail and sixth, Raveland. To the outer flow, seventh comes Novelistical. Straight shot up the rail and saving ground now goes Sonsi Oates. Followed closely by Red Hot Jake and Ruffhausen lagging behind tenth. At the half and on the front, it's set to deal by two. Half in 57 and four. Albert the first, a six to one shot of the inside, racing a second, U.S. News now coming first up at the outside, slowly third. Barron's Carrier is gapping two lengths fourth, gapping cover badly five, King and Doctor at the rail and sixth. It's Sonsi Oates with cover flow seventh comes Raveland. And the field slowly coming together here and on the outside, U.S. News putting a nose in front, set to deal on the inside as a game second at the three quarters, 126 and one. Midway to that final turn, and U.S. News, 5-1 to one on the outside, now takes the lead, leads here a length. On the inside, set the deal, and Raveland moving 4-1 as they move to the top of the stretch. Less than an eighth of a mile to go, and down the stretch they come. U.S. News has taken the lead. Raveland on the outside, between horses, closing with every stride, is King and Doctor. In the deep stretch, it's Raveland getting up late here. U.S. News second, and tight for show. Fifth race, two dollar perfecta, ten one, forty one dollars twenty cents, forty one twenty. Twin trifecta, ten one seven, one hundred thirty four dollars ninety cents, one thirty four ninety. Trackside, the official winner from the trailing position, number ten, Raveland, foiled Ohio bred son of Noble and Sam from the Raven Hanover Mare, Rare Raven. Owned by Mark Ader of Washington Courthouse, trained and driven by Dan Ader. Fourth win of the season for the uh, four-year-old Pacer, equaling his career mark, 156 flat.